home improvement in the Becca Valley. In settlements like this one, 60 families, 324 people here, they've built their own tents with help and materials from UNHCR. But they must pay rent on the land, several hundred dollars a year. They also have to dig their showers and toilets. Iman, Mohammed, and five of their six children arrived a year and four months ago. They're from eastern Syria, driven out by war, their house destroyed. Their eldest daughter is 17 and still trapped in Syria. Separation from her sister is a painful sadness for Rahma. Rahma is 11 and, like her brother Ahmed, legally blind. Both need cornea transplants. But the family is deeply in debt. There's no money for their operations. There's also no money to renew their residence permit. Where? High Commissioner Grandi met Mohammed and the family and listened as Mohammed talked of their fear of being evicted because his residence permit has expired. I have spoken to the government and I hope that there will be some improvement uh, next month. I hope, I hope. These refugees have found safety. They get food and winter assistance from UN agencies and the children attend classes but their lives remain precarious. With time passing, with years passing after the beginning of the crisis, refugees are becoming more vulnerable. And they need, uh, they need uh, all the support that we can get them. The fate of these refugees and millions of others will be decided elsewhere, in Syria itself and in London, where Gandhi hopes a major conference in February will focus the world's attention on their plight, on how to relieve it, and above all, on how to end a war that has forced them to live this way.